Hi everyone, this video is just quickly to help those of you who decided to rebuy Dragon Age Origins or any similar game like that that has these similar memory issues on Steam. Uh, personally, I rebought this game when it was 90% off on a recent sale and decided to replay it. So the issue is essentially caused by a known memory leak that exists in the game and that was never corrected with patches. Um, so essentially when 2 gigabytes of RAM was used by the game, a lot of users would either have a slowing down of the game or long loading times. And personally for me, the game just kept crashing when I got to a certain point, when I hit the bridge. Um, so it could also be a combination of these. Usually the game would slow down dramatically and then followed by a crash. So in order to fix this memory leak, one needs to use um, a four gigabyte patch that you can find easily online. It's uh, created by NT Core, and I'll show you where you can find that. The other issue I noticed is when I tried to initially use the four gigabyte NT Core patch, it wouldn't work because the exe file is encrypted. So that has to be replaced as well before you actually patch the game, as I'll show you just now. So I managed to find a guide on the Steam community page, and they kindly included for us a Dropbox link to a non-encrypted exe file uh, for Dragon Age Origins. I've personally used it and I haven't noticed any viruses, so it should hopefully be virus-free. So simply once you've downloaded that file from that Dropbox link, all you need to do is to put, put it in this correct path that I'm going to show right here. Then you simply need to download the tool, the 4 gigabyte NT Core tool. Then you need to extract both downloaded zip files and you'll be left with two files, the Dragon Age Origins EXE file and the 4 gigabyte patch EXE. You move the Dragon Age Origins EXE file to C program files, Steam apps, there, as, as you can see on the screen. Obviously it won't be on the C drive if you installed it like for me, for example, I installed it on the D drive. So wherever you've actually installed Dragon Age Origins, that is where you need to go and replace the, the EXE file. Then all that's left is just to simply patch that file that you have just moved with a 4 gigabyte patch. That's all it takes. It really is that simple. And I hope this video helped those of you guys who have been struggling with this or getting frustrated with the constant crashing or not being able to find a solution. And as always, if you enjoy my videos and they help you in any way, please remember to like and subscribe. I really would appreciate it. And I'll see you guys again soon.